The new MacBook Pro is built for the very highest levels of performance. It's incredibly powerful and yet remarkably portable. It's without doubt the very best computer that we've ever built. We focused on the features that matter most to notebook users, and we made huge leaps. For the first time, we're bringing the Retina display to the Mac. It's the highest resolution display we've ever put in a notebook. With a resolution of 2880 by 1800, this display has over 5 million pixels. That's 3 million more than an HDTV. At this resolution, on this screen size, pixels just seem to disappear. You see an extraordinary level of detail in your photos. And typography looks amazing. It's sharper than a printed page. Beyond the display, the new MacBook Pro is really a powerhouse. We knew that an all-flash architecture was a key part of driving performance. Flash delivers data up to four times faster and uses just 10% of the space that a traditional hard drive would use. When you combine that with the most powerful graphics chips, the latest quad-core processors, and the fastest RAM available, you end up with a machine that's incredibly responsive. Loading and working with your content is amazingly fast because we packed this machine with the latest I.O. It has two Thunderbolt ports, two USB 3 ports, and one HDMI port. With all of this performance, the new MacBook Pro gets up to seven hours of battery life. And it's only 0.71 inches thin. That's 25% thinner than our previous generation MacBook Pro. And it weighs just under four and a half pounds. The new MacBook Pro would seem to be a complete contradiction. It's built for extreme levels of performance, but at the same time, it's remarkably portable. To create it, we rigorously question the ways in which we've designed and built our portable products in the past. One of the most significant challenges was completely changing our approach to the design of the display. By building the layers of the display into the unibody, we actually eliminated the need for a separate cover glass. And without the additional layers, without the distractions, you're just completely immersed in your content. By not purchasing standard parts, but by designing and engineering components from the ground up, we can create a product that is more elegant and that's more efficient. And there are many design innovations in the new MacBook Pro that users won't actually see, but they'll certainly experience. For example, the thermal system, which enables the machine's incredible performance, operates in a way that is nearly imperceptible to the user. Air is pulled into vents and propelled through sculpted cavities by fans with asymmetrically positioned blades. In most fans, the blades are positioned symmetrically, which creates a single identifiable frequency. We positioned ours asymmetrically to spread the sound over a variety of frequencies, which makes it seem quieter and less intrusive. Every part of the enclosure makes a contribution that directly benefits the user. The vents are also part of the structural system, creating strong beams that actually increase the rigidity of the overall product. It truly takes an obsessive approach to make a product this meticulously designed and engineered. We've been able to optimize the software to take full advantage of the Retina display, and the results look simply amazing. Aperture on the new MacBook Pro is a total game changer for photographers. They can now zoom in and see four times more of their image with pixel for pixel accuracy, and fine tune even the smallest details. Photographers have never been able to work on images with this level of precision. Final Cut Pro 10 takes full advantage of the system's power and capabilities. So you can now stream up to nine camera views simultaneously, or view full 1080p video right in the project viewer and have plenty of screen space to spare. No other notebook comes close to this type of performance. With the new MacBook Pro, we set out to design something extreme. And this led us to rethink everything about our process, everything about what's essential to a notebook. 
And that meant that we could design the very best computer for today and for the future. With a slightly larger display, the 12-inch MacBook Air will be narrower than the 11-inch version and have reduced bezels on the display. Sources within Apple, who have used internal prototype versions of the upcoming computer, have indicated that the entire unibody has been revamped including the keyboard, trackpad, and the speakers. The new 12-inch MacBook Air will have PowerBook-like keyboard that sits edge-to-edge -edge across the width of the laptop, reducing the space between the keys. Some of the function keys have also been relocated across the top and arrow key array has been simplified to keep the keyboard as narrow as possible. The trackpad also has a tweaked design. It is going to be slightly wider and taller, almost touching the bottoms of the keyboard and the frame. It is speculated that the updated trackpad will not have the same clicking effect as found on current and earlier MacBook models. In a bid to reduce the thickness of the device in entirety, we can't help but wonder if the reduced key space, changed trackpad, and absence of physical feedback in the click, will compromise on the usability. Along with the four resigned speaker grills above the keyboard that double as a ventilation holes, the 12-inch MacBook Air will have the fewest of ports ever on an Apple computer. The device will have a new USB Type-C port which will rest solely on the left of the computer. On the right will be the standard headphone jack and dual microphones for input. Although Apple tests several designs of upcoming products before coming out with a final one, but if it intends to include its usual USB ports, SD card slot, and Thunderbolt and MagSafe charging components, there is not enough space on the narrow edges for them. However, the new Type-C port can replace the need for standard US 2.0 and 3.0 ports along with the Thunderbolt display port. The connector also allows for powering computers, which means the need for having the MagSafe charging component excessive. The connector is also reversible like lightning on iPads and iPhones, which should make the overall experience a bit more intuitive. With a narrow design and a single port offering all the functions, it is indispensable to have a hub for users to be able to plug in multiple devices into the new computer, thereby adding another attachment to the accessory portfolio. The 12-inch MacBook Air could possibly have a new space gray color and ship in mid-2015. Reports have also indicated that Apple will update the 13-inch MacBook Pro with Broadwell CPUs at the same time.